Hey, this is Dave from Retire Time Productions, and today I want to show you how to utilize the built-in Magix Movie Edit Pro intro templates and customize them for your YouTube channel, and learn how to save them as a template so you can use them over and over. Take a look at this intro that I just customized. Pretty cool, huh? So now I'm going to show you how you can do it for your channel. First thing we need to do is drag in any small video clip that we have available. Doesn't matter. Just drag it in and put it on the timeline. Alright, now that we've done that, we can add an intro template to it that we like and we want to modify. Let's go into Templates. So on the Templates tab, you go down to Intros, Outros, Animation, intros outros basic right here and pick one that you like so let's pick this one right here you can preview any of them with the arrow right here and see what they look like but to get it down on the timeline what you do is you grab the space underneath the arrow right here anywhere just grab it drag it and drop it on the end of your video your main video right here so you can see the intro is composed of three objects and it's been attached to our main video object right here so the next thing we need to do is separate it from our main video object. If I click outside the objects, you can see they're unselected. If I select the main video object, you can see they're all selected. So they're linked together and we need to separate them. So to do that, again, we just click the main video object, come up here and click the ungroup button right here, and now they're ungrouped. Unfortunately, the audio is also separated from the main video object, but we don't care because we're going to go ahead and delete those by pressing delete on the keyboard. Okay, now we just have the intro and I can play it for you right here. And there you can see it. So let's make the tracks a little taller. I'll just hit this plus button right here. Just make them a little bigger so we can see. Now, you can see pretty clearly that this top one here is actually the video. But to find out, we can go ahead and mute the other two tracks like this. Just mute these. Now let's play it. You can see it's just the video, no title, just video with the animation in it. And it has the little explosion in the middle there that comes in and then goes out at the end. Okay, bottom track. There we go. Unmute the bottom track. All right, now we'll go ahead and watch that one. Put the pointer up here. And you can see that's just the text coming in with a little animation there. So now this middle one then has to be the sound, right? So I'll go ahead and let's mute everything but the middle one and we'll display and you'll see it's sound only. Okay, so now we know we're not going to touch the top track or the sound. We just need to make this our own. Right now it's just text. And what I'll do is I'll just leave that text there for now because we need it. I'm going to move down a little bit so we're just seeing these two tracks. And I'm going to bring in my channel logo. So I'll bring in my channel logo. And let's just size it lengthwise by grabbing the ends and dragging. We want it to be the same as the text. Okay, now I want to show you a little trick. Let's go and copy the attributes from the title where it, where it has the different uh, animations to it. We'll copy those animations to our own logo. So what I'll do is I'll right click on the title, go down to Video Effects, and copy Video Effects like that. I'm just going to do Select All. I usually do that even though they're all checked. I'm going to do Select All. And you can see, this gives you an idea about analyzing it. What do we have? Well, we have fading in, fading out. We have the X and Y position changing. The width is changing. The height is changing. And it's even putting in a whirlpool effect. So I'm taking all of those attributes from the title. I'm going to click Continue. All right, now they're in the clipboard. Now I'm going to highlight my object, the logo. Right click again, go to Video Effects, and Paste Video Effects. Okay, now you can see it's added the end 
fades right there and it's done the rest too if we take a look at it let's just play it back you can see there that it swirls and then disappears but I'll just play it for you so you can see we've already got it now we just need to do is uh, adjust the size of it a little bit okay let's go to effects and we'll adjust the size and position right here all right, so I want to make this thing a little smaller. Uh, let's make it a, even a little smaller. Maybe about like that. And then we'll put the position back right in the middle. Okay, and that created a keyframe right here. And uh, I want to put that keyframe in the beginning, I think. We want it to do it all the way through, but let's just see what happens. See, it's big to start with and does that pulsation business. So I don't really want that. I just want this one keyframe that size. So let's go through here and I'll just I'll just uh trash these other keyframes. Just only the size and position keyframes, not the others. And then I just have this one and I'll move it back to the beginning right there. Now it should stay the same size all the way through. There we go. All right, so that's pretty good. Now we could also do some more tricks with it. Let's say we wanted to rotate a little bit too. So I'll come up here, maybe I want to put a little, uh, a little rotation right in the middle. So I'll go to Rotation Mirror. Just make sure that your logo's highlighted and you don't want to affect the other two, only the logo. So make, that, make sure that's highlighted. Okay, let's make let's just go in the center here and I'll just do a little rotation. That would be this one right here. So I'll just swirl that around a little bit like that. And go back there. Alright, let's just see what that did. You see it added a keyframe. See what it looks like. See that? So it gives it a little pizzazz. One more thing, you'll notice as it goes through here, the text behind it is revealed, and we don't want that anymore. So let's just go ahead and we'll delete the text. Highlight it and press delete on the keyboard. All right, now we can move this one back to the top right here, or right under that one, not the top, but move it back in the other position. Now we can see all three together right there, and the text is gone. So now we've made it our own. So that's it, that's how you can do it yourself, and all you need is a logo. So let me show you how to create your own logo. Okay, I'm in Adobe Photoshop here. and Let's make the file for our logo. So we'll do File New. And we want to make sure it's a transparent background. So make sure that's set. Now let's set the width and height here. So 300 pixels like that. Resolution 300 so we have nice clean edges. RGB color is fine and 8-bit is fine. We'll click OK. Now I'm going to enlarge the mat just a little so we can see better. So let's get our elliptical marquee tool right here. That's this one. And we'll just start down in here and make ourselves a circle. So try to make sure it's kind of even at the edges. Best you can do. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it helps. Okay, that looks pretty even to me. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and fill it. We're going to use this black background color. So, Edit Fill. Background color. We got black. Okay, now let's go back to the Marquee tool. I'm going to first deselect the first one. Now go back here. And this time we're going to come down a little bit further towards the middle so we can get a circle within a circle kind of like that alright and you can move it around with the cursor keys on the keyboard if you want just go ahead and press delete on the keyboard and that hollows out the middle we'll go select deselect now we're going to go to our text mode and let's see we want the text to be black too I'll select this around there we go now we got black now we'll go for text right here. So your channel. 
like that. I'm going to go to the pointer now so I can move the text. Okay, it looks a little bit on the big side. Go back to the text tool, select it. Let's just downsize a little bit. Uh, let's make this 14 and make maybe this 12. It's getting down there, looks pretty good. And we'll just click this arrow again. Now we can use the cursor keys to just center it up. And there it is, your channel. All right, let's go ahead and save it. File, save, and it's going to save it as a PSD. And we'll just call it your channel. Or let's call it your logo, actually. Your logo. OK. And let's also save it as a PNG. Both of these formats will maintain the transparency. So we can do your logo PNG as well. So save that. OK. All right, we're done. So now let's just put your logo in place of mine. So I could use either the PNG or the PSD, which is the Photoshop file, but I'll just use the PNG in case, you know, your program isn't Adobe Photoshop, but you can still save it as a PNG, transparent. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in there. Now we want to copy those attributes like we did before. So let's right click on my logo, get the video effects from it. So copy video effects. Select all, continue. Now we'll highlight your logo, go to video effects, and paste video effects. Now let's see what happens. The two of them are together, of course, but all I have to do is mute mine, and there's yours. Okay, so that works. So I went back into Adobe Photoshop and changed your logo to white. I think that looks a little bit better. Watch this. So let's go with that. All right, I almost forgot the important part. We might want to save this as a template. So what you can do is go to the tab that you created, the intro, right click, and then do export movie right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my desktop. And I've made a folder to put it in called Your Channel Logo. So I'll just do that, and I'll go ahead and export it to that space. So I'll just do Save, like that. And you might also put your logo in that folder as well so that you have that handy, because you'll need that, and you may not be able to find it next time. So put the logo in the folder. And the folder, here's the folder here, and you can see what went in, Workspace MVD. And so you should probably put your logo right in there so you'll have that too with the project. Okay, so that's one way. The other way is you can just go ahead and export the entire thing is a Magic's Movie Edit video. And the way you do that is make sure these markers are at the beginning and end right here. You can just click the double arrow to make sure of that. Then go to File, Export Movie, and then export it as Magic's video right here. So do that, and you can pick the size, you can pick whatever you want for the frame rate. I'm just going to leave it like it is. It's just 1080p. And then we can put it into a folder, whatever folder we want. I suggest you put it in the same folder we had before, but I'm just going to put it here. And I'll go OK. And let that export, and you can see it doesn't take too long. And it should pop right in here when it's done. There it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that into that other folder. So I'll move it over. All right. So now I got both of them in there. I've got the Magic's video format here, and I've also got that project format as well. And I can just go ahead and put the logo in there too while I'm at it. I'll go ahead and put mine in too. There we go. Now they're all in the folder. Everything we need to recreate it is right there. So now if we happen to have a new tab like this, 
so we could actually go to up here and just go to open right here there we go desktop your logo and I'm going to open that workspace right there and there it is so it pops it right back in so now you can copy this and paste it into your video or do your video right here so that's how you can do it that way the other way is I'll open even another tab here I could just go to my folder and bring in the MXV and just drop that in there and you, as you can see when I play that it's the complete thing the disadvantage to the MXV is you cannot change anything in it it's finished whereas the other one you can go in here and edit things change the logos and the sounds everything you can still edit the project type thing but you can't change the MXV so it's up to you which way you want to do it you could do it both ways just so you have them so you can substitute your own logo whatever you want to put in there and you're good to go okay I hope that helps and remember you can use any of the different templates that you want you could pick a different intro whatever you want to do like you could have picked this one here for example there's many in here there's this one just pick whatever you want and then modify it in the same way okay thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Thank you.